What's going on guys, Gary here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be having a look at how to remove the background from a JPEG or PDF image and turn it into a transparent PNG image. Now we do this quite a bit on our Fiverr account. Uh, we, As you can see here, we've made in the last two years about $2,000 uh, from just turning an image like this into one like this um, and that's just through Fiverr if, if any of you are struggling at the end of this video uh, and you'd like us to obviously remove the backgrounds the cheapest way will definitely be to head over to our Fiverr page um, and then yeah find this gig and just order it um, at the cost of less than four quid we'll obviously change your image uh, and we'll convert it into from a JPEG with a white background into a transparent PNG image um, and you can obviously go through and we've done, we've done tons of work um, so yeah so I'm going to go through this tutorial now so obviously you're going to want to open up Photoshop um, if you haven't got Photoshop you probably can use other programs but obviously we recommend using Adobe Photoshop there uh, now I've got three images here so we're going to run through them all each uh, so let's open these up here uh, what we'll do is we'll run through the football first so a nice simple image you're going to want to head over to this one here and then go to the magic wand tool and just basically you are going to want to right click the layer click layer from background OK and that will allow you to edit the JPEG image that we just drew in and then you're going to want to take the magic wand tool and just click into the empty white space just like that and then hit the delete on the keyboard and that, it's that simple really that simple and what you want to do is you want to save file save as come down here PNG football transparent save ok and you can see the difference now so if we open this open this up here you can see the difference between both of the photos let's close this one down here open this one up so you see that's the JPEG with the white background and that's the one without so it's literally as simple as that same thing with the Nike image right click the layer layer from background ok click the magic wand delete the background file save as same thing now for more complicated images such as this female here you won't just be able to just click like that with that works quite well it gets most of it but as you can see here there's bits of white there's a nail so if we zoom in here you can see it's it's not picked up right so once you once you do if you get if you're editing a complicated image like this what you're going to want to do is, is obviously highlight most of it as best you can and then you're going to obviously zoom in you're going to have to go through area by area uh, so we've highlighted most of here we're going to head over here click on this I'm going to change it to the quick selection tool I'm going to go to the minus because we want to open it up a little bit I'm just going to turn the size down a little bit here so and then what you're going to want to do is just want to click through just until you're basically you're realigning the line up uh, so we're just going to run through it very quickly we're not going to do a perfect job let's have a look now so we just change that around there just have a quick run through da, da, da. see and that's all I hand done and then obviously we'll run through the shirt collar as well uh, let's have a look then the cuffs let's go like, there you go just as simple as that obviously some images do take a lot longer and on photos like this for example with it's a uh, female or male um, hair can be a bit of a problem uh, she's got quite smooth hair so that's quite good I'll show you the best way for what we use uh, to remove backgrounds uh, around the hair in just a second so let's scroll down so everything looks good apart from the hair now uh, so it's just so what you might want to do is if you're really really struggling with the hair um, let's just delete that and get rid of the uh, so layer from background let's just get rid of the background there what you're going to want to do is we're going to create a new layer underneath this move it down and head over to the paint bucket tool just pick another colour we've got orange just going to slap that in there and what this does this will allow you rather than working on a white background you'll actually be able to see the white that obviously shows up um, so this will make it much easier when it comes to editing as well um, so yeah you can see here there's like blurry bits so what I what we generally do is head over to here to the eraser tool and yeah you're basically just going to want to nicely go through it and just spend a, a fair bit of time just going through and just making sure it's all nice and neat uh, let's just do this finger here and you can see how much how much more sharper that image is already so if we zoom out you can see that part of the finger looks so much better than the rest of it um, let's go over here you can see we've got some white around the hair now hair is a tricky one uh, so what we generally do is if we're really struggling with hair um, this is generally quite good because it's quite a nice line but if you end up with a whoops if you end up with a piece let's go back if you end up with a piece like this over here 
but you have fine line. You can obviously use the magic wand tool and simply start doing this, uh, but you will be here for quite a while. So sometimes it's either best to obviously sort the hair out in the image if you're going to take a photo first to make it much easier, or you could just take the uh, eraser tool, just make it a bit bigger. And then yeah, you can basically just re redo your whole hair. Um, women's hair, this is usually a lot easier. Um, and uh, well, men's as well. Men's got short hair, so yeah. And then you'll so we would just completely maybe just get rid of all of this bit here, just to make it just to sort of even it up a little bit. If you're on a uh, if you're using a mouse, I'd recommend uh, if so, those of you who got a trackpad. Uh, we use the MacBook Pro. That's a lot easier for doing this sort of thing than using a mouse. Uh, we're using a mouse to record this video, but if you use a trackpad, you can get a lot more precise because uh, obviously you'll touch it with your finger. Um, so yeah, I recommend using a trackpad if you can. Uh, so let's just tidy this up here a little bit. And there we go. We'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. But you can spend hours on this, just fine tuning the eraser up, just to get it looking nice. And then once you'll have a nice, eat, nice, neat image. Um, and then obviously any f sections of the images like this with a little white background, you just delete that like so. And once you go through the whole image, using the eraser tool to obviously go around the edges, uh, you'll have a nice fine image, uh, and then it'll look something like that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a quick little tutorial just on how to edit and get a transparent background on JPEG and PDF images. Uh, you can do it on any other image types actually, GIF, um, but yeah, you have to save it. To get a transparent background, you have to save it as a PNG or a GIF file or a PDF as well, PDFs work. Um, but yeah, we recommend using saving all your images as PNGs. Um, and it's as simple as that, like I say, uh, we've been running our Fiverr account for about two years now, and we've made being totally honest, I think we made about $2,000 just from doing this, um, and we haven't put that much time into it. Some images take longer than others, some images take 20 seconds, some images can take 5-10 minutes, um, but like you say, you just practice, 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 you get better at it, and uh, and then yeah. So that's the end of the video guys, anyway, I appreciate the love you guys all give me. We've got about 120 subscribers now, so the channel's starting to build up. On our AdWords tutorial, we've got about 15,000 views, so that's really, really cool. So thanks for all your support there. Just remember to subscribe if you're new around here. Give the video a thumbs up if it helped, and leave a comment if you need any help at all. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.